Hi. So this is gonna be like a video about just like a bunch of random stuff that I've been wanting to say that I haven't said. Um, let's start off with JCPenney. Now, I have bought a few things from JCPenney. I'm actually wearing, this is like a leather peplum top. But I actually just took off the belt because this shit was constricting the shit out of me. Like when I sit down, bitch, like that is not my waist right here, bitch. This is not my waist right here. So anyways, um, yeah, so today my challenge was to go out with my pooch and live. Because as you can see, the peplum top is not going to hide the pooch, okay? But, so I came out like this. Have my belt on. Imagine it with the belt. Now the flowers, those came afterwards, but I was really fucking with them. But for the sake of realness, mm, for real, you know what I find? Um, as a size 22, 24, sometimes 26, sometimes 20 kind of woman, um, I find that a lot of times, like if a pair of pants fits all the way to the vagina and you know what the fuck I'm talking about because sometimes you get a pair of pants and the vagina be like not even where your vagina is because your pooch and your butt and whatever the fuck is going on it just really don't fit like it should you know what I mean you constantly try to pull them up because it's really not fitting you perfectly but the thing is with JCPenney every time I buy dress pants from them the waist is perfect like I'll show you the top of it Waist perfect, fits snugly, holds my belly. Okay, because this is how I wear my pants. My belly is being great, and you know, it has some deep ass pockets and shit. That's wonderful, too. Um, do the back pockets work? They don't, but that's okay. But for real, they it, it all fits. But the thing is, it's the bottom, you know, how it be. When you uh, get a pair of pants that fits everywhere but the bottoms, like the bottoms be flared as fuck, you be like, the fuck? And that's because like the thigh to calf ratio, you know, they trying to make you a pair of pants that are like not constricting at the bottoms. But I really enjoy the skinny fit, boot cut if you will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to taper these. I know that people have been asking me to do a video on tapering because... I know when people check me, they're like, girl, where do you get these fucking pants from? Because it's hard to find a pair of pants that fits your thighs, your waist, your butt, and your your calves. Like, it's just, it's like you, you could get the whole top, the top be on, but the bottom be loose as shit. Or even vice versa, when you put on a pair of pants and your, your feet and your uh, calves and everything going good, but you can't get it past your thighs, you be like, the fuck? So yes, yeah, so I just wanted to give a shout out to JCPenney because, I mean, other than having to taper the bottoms, the fit be on, like, the fit be super on. Yeah, so I wanted to come and talk about how I had a job interview today, and I was, like, hella nervous because I haven't really had a job in a little bit, so it's kind of like, you know, getting back up on the job horse and riding into job town. I guess. <laughs> so I was, anyway, so I was like super nervous and I had a job interview today and it was like, it said on GPS that it was like 1.8 miles away from my house walking and there was no transit available other than the F bus, but it was like if I would have taken the F bus, I would have been out some money that I really don't have, you feel me? So I was like, girl, yes, use these legs. So I'm over here walking myself to this interview, and I'm like clocking the time. I'm like, damn, how long is it going to take me to walk like two miles? And I'm over here giving myself 40 minutes like, bitch, we can do it. And can I tell you, I got there at 2 o'clock. Like, I got there right on time, and the woman who works with the person that I'm going to be working for came down and I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I'm so sorry I'm late. She's like, you are not late. I was like, boom, boom. She was not even tripping. So I like get into um, the house and what up? Hi. Where'd you go? I went to go uh, get some cheese boy ass. Oh, with Melody? <laughs> yeah. How was that? It was fun. That's we cool. We took some weed and have some cheese boy ass. That's cute. Yeah. Oh, it was great. It was great. I'm just reporting on it now. <laughs> I had, yeah, it was wonderful. It worked out. Yeah. Um. What? Oh. <laughs> so so I'm walking uh, to get to the place, and the woman, you know, as soon as I as soon as I get to the actual location, the woman is like, "You are not late. Don't worry. Come upstairs." So I go upstairs, and I totally forget that this person is disabled. 
for like one second because I'm like so nervous. So I went to go shake his hand and he doesn't have use of his hands. So I was like, oh my God, like so stupid. So then I'm like bugging out because like I feel like so dumb for doing that. So I like sit down. I'm like sweating because like I just got there. Like I'm on time, but bitch, I need like a minute, you know what I mean? To de-glisten. So the person I'm going to be working with, I'm not going to tell you his name. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just like, let me not, you know what I mean? I don't know who the fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, so, um, so I'm up there, so I'm talking to this guy, and he's like, hella cool, you know, and he's like laughing a lot, I'm making him laugh a lot, and I'm like, that's, that's a great sign, you know, when, when, especially if you're going to be working in personal care, because like, that's basically what the job is, like, I'm going to be just hanging out with this person and just being helpful, being, you know, an extra pair of hands, extra legs, you know what I mean, just whatever he needs me to do for him, I'm going to be able to do that for him, and you know, there, it wasn't really a long interview, it was probably like 30 minutes, but we just talked a little bit while his aide was there, um, her name was Lizette, and she was really cool, um, and he was just explaining to me that like, each shift is $50, and like, uh, shifts range from like 9 to 1 and then there's an overnight shift and then there's a night shift and there's like and basically what I am is I'm going to be the person that kind of makes it so that people can have days off because right now nobody has days off because everybody's needed so I'm kind of like that person that comes in to relieve people and there have been people working for years that have never had a day off really so um and, like, don't get me wrong, like, the job is, like, super easy. So, like, having a day off, like, what does that even really mean? Because when you're there, if you're not being, um, helping, you know what I mean? If you're not helping the, the person that you're working for, you're chilling. So, it's a really chill job. Um, and I know that when I do finally get to, like, start working, it's going to be straight. But I knew I got the interview when this nigga asked me to even give him a hug. Because I was, like, a dude that has no use of his arms was like, give me a hug, bitch. <laughs> like, Because I was like, I was really giving him my whole beat. And I feel like we really vibed. When I left, I was like too excited. Like, you know how you feel like when a ram is in the bush? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I really just fe felt like somebody put a ram in my bush. And I like kind of lost my mind for like five minutes. Even though like, you know what I mean? You, know what I mean? Like, you lose your mind because you feel like something good could be happening. So I'm like skipping down the street and the police is watching me and I'm like, all right, let me calm down. <laughs> skipping down the street, smiling and having a good old time um, while the police is watching me because I felt low-key suspicious when I was coming up the street because there was hella police in the area. But it's a nice area. So, I mean, I guess that's why there are so many police. But um, it was still kind of scary because I was just like, damn, you know? I ain't a criminal, <laughs> but still. Yeah, so anyways, so after my interview, I went out, I treated myself to a, a Arizona iced tea, and I'm, like, leaving the area, and I see this dude that I've seen before, like, walking around. And he asked me if I have a cigarette. I'm like, nah, I don't have a cigarette. And I keep walking, and he starts, like, talking to me. And I'm like, you know what? Like, all the time I see people, and I make snap judgments about them. Like, maybe I'll catch this nigga's beat. And let me just tell you, that shit was fucking stupid. I should have just kept walking. We're having a conversation about, like, the area, and we're talking, and he seems like a normal person, like, as normal as you fucking can be, I guess, when you're talking to someone. And then out of nowhere, he just is asking me if I smoke crystal meth. And I'm like, no, like, I don't. And he's like, oh, I just smoke some. I'm high as fuck right now. I was like, that's cool, dude. And then he starts laughing. And then he was like, so I'm saying, like, you gonna let me hit? And I'm just like, really? And I just, like, really just, like, schooled this nigga for a minute. I was like, yo. I was like, do you realize we both just had a whole conversation about how we're both broke, we both don't have jobs. And you're telling me that you are trying to get some pussy. You telling me all this terrible shit in your life, you smoking crystal meth, and then you gonna ask me if you can fuck me? What? And his teeth were fucking devastation. Like, I, I couldn't help but look at his mouth and just clock every fucking toothless that I seen. It was a fucking tragedy. And he was just like hella wild. And he was like, I'm gonna walk you home. I was like, I really hope you fucking don't. <laughs> I was like, I really hope you fucking turn the fuck around. Because this nigga had like a lime green blanket just draped around himself. It looked wild to me. But um, I was trying to be nice. Like for, for real, for a little bit, I was like, you know, like let me just, you know, entertain this man. Like, you know, who knows? People probably walk past him all the time and don't say nothing to him. Now you know why, cause shit's crazy. But um, yeah, it was really cool to have an interview and have it go well and the promise of money cause money is great and wonderful. So 
Um, yeah, I was gonna say something else. Hmm. Oh, I was thinking about something earlier. 